If you want access to the best interest rates and financial deals, you need a good credit score. There are a number of reasons why it might need a boost. So let me take you through 10 easy steps to nudge that number a little bit higher. Whether it's opening a new bank account or getting a mortgage, I'll talk you through how to get your credit rating up. Let's start with the first and most obvious tip. Pay your bills on time. Late payments can have a big negative impact on your credit score. Have a look at your account and see what dates your bills come out. The best date for direct debits to come out is a few days after payday. This way, you know that you've got the clear funds to pay. Most companies will happily change the direct debit date for you if you just drop them a quick call. There are also notifications that you can set up with some bank accounts that will prompt you the day before if there isn't enough money in your account just before a payment comes out. That facility has saved my bacon a few times. <laughs> so set up automatic payments or reminders to make sure that you're paying your bills on time to have a healthy credit score. The next step is to check your credit report. It's important to check your credit score regularly and correct any errors that might be affecting it. In fact, one in five people find mistakes in their credit reports and these can be really frustrating when they delay your finance plans. Here are some tips on how to correct errors on your credit reports with the three main credit reference agencies in the UK. It's Experian, Equifax and TransUnion. First, check your credit report for any mistakes. You can do this for free with companies like ClearScore, Credit Club or Credit Karma. That's with a K. Look out for common mistakes like incorrect personal information, account information from identity theft, joint accounts with ex-partners, closed accounts that are showing as open accounts, duplicate accounts or inaccurate payment history. If you find an error, you can dispute it with the relevant credit report agency in writing. Include your contact information, report reference number, clear and detailed information for each mistake, an explanation for why you're making the dispute and a request that the error will be removed, changed or updated. Remember, by regularly checking your credit report and correcting any errors, you can improve your credit score and access better financial opportunities. Pay the full amount on credit cards. Another way to improve your credit score is by paying the full amount on your credit card each month. This shows lenders that you're responsible with your finances and can handle credit. You should always aim to spend only what you can afford to pay off each month. Leaving a balance won't help your credit scores, it'll just cost you money and interest. Did you know that carrying a high balance on your credit cards negatively impacts your credit score? That's because it increases your credit utilisation ratio, which is the second most important factor in determining your credit scores. To calculate this ratio, divide your total credit card balances by your total available credit. Aim to stay under 30% utilisation, both overall and on individual accounts. So let's say if we use 100 quid as an example, aim to spend about 30 pounds. Your credit score can decrease rapidly if you exceed that percentage. For top-notch credit scores, keep your use in the single digits. Did you know that being registered to vote can actually improve your credit score? Lenders use the electoral roll to verify your identity and address to ensure that your application isn't fraudulent and prevent identity theft. If you're not on the electoral roll or your details don't match, lenders might reject your application for credit. It's essential to know that every time you apply for credit, lenders perform a hard credit check. This leaves a mark on your credit file. If your application is denied and you apply with another lender, then they'll see the hard credit check on your file and might also refuse your application. This cycle of hard credit checks can seriously damage your credit score. So, how does it help? being on the electoral roll? Well, it provides lenders the information that they need to confirm your identity and address, potentially increasing your credit score. If you're unsure whether you're on the electoral roll and live in England, Scotland or Wales, contact your local electoral registration office. Each local authority manages the electoral register in its area. 
To find your local electoral registration office, visit the gov.uk website and enter your postcode. Avoid excess credit applications. Applying for too much credit at once can actually hurt your credit score. Multiple hard inquiries within a short period of time can indicate credit risk. Lenders may see it as a sign of desperation or overextending yourself. Consumer credit reports contain a wealth of information about you and your financial relationships with lenders. When you apply for credit, lenders pull a copy of your credit report. Each time your report's pulled, then your credit inquiry appears on your report for a certain amount of time. Credit inquiries fall into two categories, soft inquiries and hard inquiries. Soft inquiries don't represent a formal credit application and they don't affect your credit score. So examples, include credit report checks by existing creditors, companies making firm offers of credit or insurance, or when you request your own report. Hard inquiries occur when you apply for credit, so for things like auto loans, mortgages or credit cards. These inquiries can remain on your credit report for up to two years and may affect your credit score. However, the impact of the inquiry will not last more than 12 months and any impact is minimal. Consider specialist credit builder cards. If you're struggling to get approved for traditional credit cards, consider applying for a specialist credit builder card. These cards are designed to help people build or rebuild their credit scores. A credit builder card is a special type of credit card designed for those with poor credit history or no credit history at all. It's designed to help you enhance your credit score. Here are some important things to keep in mind about credit builder cards. They usually have a lower credit limit compared to regular credit cards. Interest rates can be higher. Applicants with poor credit ratings are more likely to be accepted. If you pay the balance off each month, your credit score should improve within four to six months. Now, let's go through the process of using a credit builder card. So step one is apply for a credit builder card that suits your needs and will help improve your credit rating. Step two, spend on the card just like you would with a regular credit card, but be aware of the low credit limit and potentially higher interest rates. Step three, make your repayments. Aim to pay off as much of the balance as possible each month to demonstrate responsible borrowing. Ideally, pay off the full amount to avoid paying interest. Step four, Watch your credit score improve. By consistently making on-time repayments each month, your credit score should get better, making you eligible for better deals on credit cards and loans in the future. Use an eligibility checker. By using an eligibility checker or a soft search before you apply, you can avoid being rejected for credit and potentially damaging your credit score. An eligibility checker is a tool that allows you to see how likely you are to be approved for credit before you actually apply. This is really important because every time you apply for credit, it gets recorded on your credit report. If you're rejected for credit, this can negatively impact your credit score, making it more difficult to get approved in the future. Some credit providers offer pre-approval for credit cards and loans. This means that the eligibility check has been done for you and determined that you're likely to be approved for credit. This can give you the confidence to apply knowing that you're more likely to receive a yes from the lender. Overall, using an eligibility checker or a soft search can be a useful tool when it comes to applying for credit. It can help you avoid being rejected for credit and potentially damaging your credit score, while also giving you the confidence to apply knowing that you're likely to be approved. Close unused credit accounts. As a general rule, having lots of unused credit cards can negatively affect your credit score, as lenders may see you as someone who doesn't use credit often, reducing your eligibility for borrowing. On the other hand, having too many active credit cards can make you appear desperate to a lender, also reducing your eligibility for borrowing. So, what's the best course of action if you have multiple credit cards? Well, the best thing you can do is spread the pay payments across all of them, staying within 70% of the credit limit on each card. This will show lenders that you use credit regularly and responsibly. If you have several credit cards, it may be beneficial to cancel some of them, starting with any unused cards and then continue to spend carefully across the remaining cards. This can improve your credit score.
score over time. Cancelling an old credit card is straightforward. You simply call up your card issuer and let them know that you wish to cancel your account. It's essential to check your final statement once a card's cancelled just to ensure that it's up to date and that there are no discrepancies. Cancelling unused credit cards can provide an opportunity to take advantage of new customer offers from the same card issuer. However, be aware of any waiting periods that may be required before reapplying as a new customer. You can also also shop around and compare available cards online using a free comparison service. When you call up to cancel your card, the card provider may try to offer you various benefits for staying on. If any of these seem attractive, it may be a good idea to take advantage of them, but otherwise stand your ground and close the account. Don't ignore debts. Ignoring your debts can lead to mispayments and a damaged credit score. Outstanding debts will also have an influence on your credit score, particularly if you have a large amount of credit already. Lenders will also look at how much of your available credit you're using. Using more than 30% of your available credit can be seen as a negative factor. Another thing that can impact your credit score is the type of credit accounts that you have. Lenders will look at what other forms of credit you have and use this credit mix to determine how you're handling the debt now or you have done in the past. To improve your credit score, it's important to make sure you make your payments on time and keep your debts manageable. This means paying more than the minimum amount and reducing your outstanding debts as much as possible. You can also consider diversifying your credit accounts by by having a mix of credit types such as credit cards, loans and mortgages. If you're struggling, seek help from a debt advice service like Step Change. Negotiate with lenders. This leads on from our last point. If you're struggling to manage your debt, negotiating with your lender may be the best option for you. Here are some suggestions on how to approach these negotiations. Timing is key. The most important factor in successfully negotiating with your lender is having a recent history of on-time payments. If you've made 12 to 24 consecutive payments on time and have shown an ability to control your balances, you'll be well positioned to ask for a better rate. Even if you haven't been able to make all your payments on time, lenders may be understanding. Persistence is also critical. Always be courteous when you explain your situation and if necessary, ask to speak to a manager and don't be afraid to escalate the conversation to the manager's supervisor. Keep accurate records of your debts so that you can better explain your situation when you speak to the credit card issuer. If you've previously been turned down for a reduced interest rate or other concession, but your situation has improved with recent on-time payments, try again and keep calling. Remember, it's in your lender's best interest to help you pay off the debt, even if that means reducing your interest rate or working out a payment plan that suits your needs. Needs. Improving your credit score isn't something that happens overnight. Now that you've learned some amazing tips to boost your credit score, it's time to put your improved financial standing to good use. Are you ready to save a whopping £10,000 in 2023? No matter your income level? Well, click on our next video to uncover the secrets of saving big and transforming your financial future. Don't miss out on this life-changing opportunity. See you there.